Now my brother picked up one of these the other day and I'm not really sure what they're called. They're an Alice Chalmers, but they're kind of a little utility tractor. Now this one, uh, he's got the hood off. There's a hood that goes over the back that covers the motor. But they're a cool little rig. And this one runs really great. It's got good tires on it. And it came with, you know, they, they had a, a side mount mower that sticks out on the side here. And it's got a cultivator for it. And he's gonna pick up a plow from the guy he got this from. Really ideal for somebody running a small farming operation, you know, like a truck farm kind of thing. They are really slick. I've seen a few of them uh, at, you know, shows. But you never see anybody using them, though at one time, uh, you know, our state agricultural college, I guess they had like 50 of these, you know, running on small plots. And I think the highway department used to use them for mowing, too. It's like uh, maybe a nine-horse motor. I think they were made late 40s little flathead four cylinder and about a like a four gallon gas tank but I bet that'd run you all day and it has electric start but there is also a crank that you can fire it up by hand they're really cool um, kind of funny you know people always buy these small or large garden tractors. I think these things probably have a lot better for a little truck farming operation. I think they make uh, like a new sort of version of this. I think they're really cool though. And I'm not sure where the plow, if it mounts on behind or if it mounts underneath. Like I say, he's got the, uh, well, here's the mower for it, and there's a noxious guinea. And that is the colorator. But they made all kinds of odd little implements for him. Just a really cool little rig. Now, he's going to use it for cultivating corn, you know, just playing around with it, but I think it'd be a great in a, a, a large garden. And it'll turn on a dime. A pretty cool little rig. I'm not sure what they're called. But I think that's damn practical.